controversy during the election about Mr. Hunter Biden's, Biden's laptop. And at that time, you had 80 agents interfacing with social media, doing whatever they were meeting, doing. The FBI had the Hunter Biden laptop, on, got it on December 9, 2019. The, the New York Post story, which a lot of the social media companies, at the suggestion of government, took down. The story came out on 10-14, 2020. Why didn't the FBI just say, hey, the, the laptop's real. Why didn't you just tell everybody the laptop's real? We're not vouching for what's on it, but it's real. This isn't a, a, a fiction. Well, I, I, as you might imagine, the FBI cannot, especially in a time like that, be talking about an ongoing investigation. Second, I would tell you that at least my understanding is that both the FBI folks involved in the conversations and the Twitter folks involved in the conversations both say that the FBI did not direct Twitter to uh, suppress But others were story. in government. Well, I can't, again, I can't speak to others in government. Now, that's part of the point that I was trying to make because the Fifth yes, Circuit's sir, but opinion... But you're the FBI. You're not part of the White House and part of Homeland Security. You're not supposed to be political. You see all this controversy going on. Why didn't the FBI say, time out, folks. We're not getting in the middle of this, but the laptop's real. Again, we have to be very careful about what we can say, especially in the middle of uh, an election season because that's precisely some of the problems that led to my predecessor's uh, uh, negative findings from the inspector. A district court uh, found that the FBI and other agencies asked social media platforms to remove content and to change their moderation policies in a way that violated the First Amendment. But here's what the Fifth Circuit said. The FBI, quote, likely coerced the platforms into moderating content and encourage them to do so by effecting changes in their moderation policies, end quote, in violation of the First Amendment. The FBI agreed with the plaintiffs that, quote, I'm quoting the Fifth Circuit, federal agents ran afoul of the First Amendment by coercing and significantly encouraging social media platforms to censor disfavored speech, including by threats of adverse government action like antitrust enforcement and legal reform. That's serious. Is the Fifth Circuit wrong? Well, as you may know, uh, first off, let me just say the opinions talk about a whole bunch of other executive agencies besides the FBI, and, and I'm not going to speak to what the other agencies did or didn't do. But well, you weren't the, the only one. It but, was the White uh, House. But it just, was Homeland Security. But your folks were there, too, all 80 of them, 80 agents. Well, but Combing social media every day. Call on Twitter, call on Facebook, take that down. Get rid of that account. And it wasn't just on election interference. It was on COVID vaccines. It was on lockdowns. Even on the topics we did communicate with social media companies about, from everything I've seen, we, in fact, did not instruct anybody to take uh, that information down. As to the Fifth Circuit's opinion, as to the Fifth Circuit's opinion, uh, as you may also know, uh, we actually hotly contest uh, a lot of the findings 